What's going on guys, Nasher here. We are back at the battery here in Columbus, Ohio. Today, we are gonna be finding the stick of the future. Okay, maybe not the stick of the future, but today, we're gonna find out. We're getting rid of what we know and love, the straight twig. It's going on the ground. And right here, I present to you today, the Elevate XL27 bent hockey stick. So you guys may have saw, we did an is it trash on the Elevate stick and we determined it is indeed not trash. But the thing is, we never got to use it on the ice. So thankfully, now we have the battery, we got this big open ice. I'm gonna be testing out the curved stick out here to see how it feels. It's not just me today though. We got my boy, John's plan. Ladies and gentlemen, and he has got his own Elevate stick. So obviously you guys know John, he hasn't been playing hockey too long. Uh, six, what, six months? About six months. About six months. So in today's video, we're both gonna go head to head using our Elevate sticks versus our normal sticks to see which one we prefer. So there's three tests that we're gonna be doing today. Number one, we're just gonna come out here like we always have been. We got the stick handling set up. We're just gonna skate around, shoot a little bit, and get warmed up with our twig. Number two, although it may be a little bit unfair, we're gonna play a game of pig with these sticks. So I'm gonna play against John. And for the final challenge, I actually got super deekers here. Remember the thing I did with the lights where I broke Pavel Barber's record? Well, they have it right here. So we're gonna go head to head with the Elevate and our old twig to see which one performs better. With that being said, we're gonna do a quick warm up with both our normal twig and with this twig, and we will catch up with you guys soon. Let's go. Wouldn't have fallen there if I had my elevate stick. <laughs> All right, normal twig felt good out here. Obviously, we just needed to get like some sort of baseline before switching over to the elevate. Now I got the man, John, with the plan. Another thing to note here: John actually has never used stick wax before, but our latest video convinced him. So we'll see if that helps out as well. Nice move. Another nice move. Gets it through the guy's legs. That was almost dirty. Rip it. Boom. Yo, that is filthy. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. And there it is, John with the regular stick. Now let's see what happens when we get an elevate in his hand. Elevate bent stick. I grant you to John. Best of luck. Here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, you feel so weird. kind of nice like it, it felt weird the whole time but it got the job done let's try it one more First little test with the Elevate stick on the ice. And I gotta say, it's not that bad. So when you come out here, you think there's gonna be drastic differences in the shot and the stick handling, obviously in the field. But once you get going through this course, like I went through this thing maybe two, three times. And by the time I was done with it, I felt like I had a pretty good feel for this stick. I feel like I can get my shots almost off quicker with this, but they feel like they have a little bit less power. So you guys saw, as I looped around, I got those shots into the corner off the bar where I was aiming but a lot of times they were like flipping and kind of flopping towards the net. Because of the bend, 
and where I put my flex on my stick, I need to kind of adjust that based off where the angle is. And I'm guessing once we figure that out, we may have a bit more luck. But overall, it's definitely not trash. I don't know if I'm committed to using it, but maybe by the end of today, we'll have a better idea. That being said, I think it's time for my boy John's plan to take over. You saw him with his regular stick. Now it's time to test out the Elevate. Good luck, John. So I just got confirmation from John. Not really, but he's not listening. If he does well in this run right here, he's got to start using this in his beer league games. I think that's what it is. Oh, accidental dangles. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Pop. That's a good shot. Oh. Pop. John with the wheels. Going top cheese. Hang. That's it. Boys, I think that's a uh, confirmation. John's got to use this in his next beer league game. Is it going down? Yeah, I'll do it. All right, yo, the Elevate is being used in beer league. He's gonna get probably tripped to death, but uh. So obviously we still have a couple challenges left. We're gonna play pig, we're gonna hop into the Super Deeker. But first, I gotta ask the question, John. Initial thoughts, is this the stick of the future? Yes or no? It could be, I'm not sure yet. Um, it feels good to me. It doesn't feel too different than a normal stick. Uh, the curve definitely takes a second to get used to. But once you're used to it, it feels great. Do I think this is the stick of the future? I, I don't know, man. I'm still not sold on it. Honestly, what me and John were talking about, it doesn't feel that much different than a normal hockey stick. You get out here, you take a couple shots, you get a feel for it. A hockey stick is still a hockey stick in my book. I'm gonna say I'm still iffy on it. We'll see after this game of pig. So this is just gonna be a normal game of pig. We got a couple different things that we can do here. Obviously, you can shoot off the big net. You can go post, post, crossbar. We got a passer if you wanna aim it off the passer for a letter. And then they have these little mini nets. All metal, so if you wanna go for like a sauce or something, we have the ability to do that. Also, to add a little twist to this challenge, we're gonna have the ability to pick which stick we use. Do we use our normal stick or do we use the elevate? That'll give us a nice little mix. We'll get to try both of the twigs and it should make for some interesting competition. All right, John's plan. Shot number one, game of pig, what do we got? So, three shots, center ice, get the crossbar. All right. Number two gets it up a little higher. Ooh! Yeah, you literally went up like two inches yeah. every time. That was crazy. Three shots, we gotta hit the top cone off of the net. You can't hit the bottom cone. It has to knock it off clean. And of course, we do have the elevate stick. A little high, a little to the right, and boom, there it is. Shot number three, we got it. And boom. All right, so we've decided whenever we do the multi shots, if he were to hit it in say one shot, like he is, or two shots, then I will actually end up with the P. So if you call the multi shots, you have to get it early, or your opponent has a chance to steal a letter. I swear, if he hits it. Oh my god. Oh, a little high. Oh. He knocked it down. He hit basically top shelf. Not quite enough. And that is a P for John's play. All right, so we're going with sort of a unique one. We got two sticks, six pucks. We're going to go three shots each at this net. Whoever hits the most post total does not get a letter. So close. That bar? All right, we got one. That's two. Two out of three. Now we move to the elevator. Okay, if I get one more, I feel like I'm good. All right, I know it's only one test. I could not hit post with this thing, but we still got two. Two nice crossbar shots. John has to hit at least two to not get a letter. I don't know, man, something about that Elevate stick, like every time I shoot it, it lifts way up in the air. Like I'm trying to keep that down. I was aiming like mid net and it still was flying over. So I gotta get that under control. The shots are elevated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm heading out. Uh, John, it's been good hanging, man. We'll see you next time. All right, so John is a righty. I shot over there since I'm a lefty. We mirrored it over here. 
He's got six shots, and he's hit at least two post or cross work. Oh my gosh, dude, that's so close. Pop. Dude, you gotta hit two posts with the elevate. <laughs> Yikes. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh, is this actually happening? Oh wait. Oh my goodness. So John, obviously better with the elevate stick. Oh. All right, my next shot, I'm going elevate stick, three total puffs. We got three, we're gonna be sitting right in here. We got a sauce one over the twig, into the mini net. Shot number two has to go towards the top left corner somewhere. Let's go, bar down. How's your sauce game? Uh, awful. <laughs> First, you gotta hit it with the sauce. Pop it in. Oh, oh my! Oh my! <laughs> Yo, we're counting that. Pop it in. Oh, oh my! Oh my! Oh, cannot count that one right at the middle of the net. Here he goes. Oh. So that is a PI to nothing. Going into the last letter. Five shots, elevate stick. Crossbar challenge. Crossbar is the only one that counts. There's one. Okay, what happened after that first shot? There's number two. Final shot. I do, like every other shot is so bad. I don't get it. Alright, so we hit two. John has to hit at least two to tie. That's a wash. If he hits three, I get a letter. If he hits one. He's out. Elevate that puck. Elevated it too high. Mmm. Final two pucks of the day. The first one has to hit. Go. Oh my goodness. This is not fake. Puck in the same spot. Last one to save his game. Is he actually? Inches. Painful. Yo, that was actually a really good effort though. You yes. were hitting shots, you stick handled well. What do we think? I love this stick, honestly. <laughs> this guy's a sellout, get him out of here. My cheaper stick compared to this one, like I just prefer this one in stick handling and skating and like just handling the puck just feels so much better with this one. All right, well as the pig champion, I gotta say John's plan basically irrelevant. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This stick is, it's not bad, all right? I like it. Like almost like quicker, like not faster towards the net, but a quicker release. I feel like for stick handling, I actually do really like the curve on the stick. Something about it like kind of just feels natural as you start to get into it. The one thing that I'll say about the stick that I'm not a huge fan of, I think my shot accuracy is a little bit worse, but that could be just because this is a new twig. Obviously I have to get used to it. Maybe if we come out here a few more times and test this out, it's something I could get used to. For me, stick handling is a plus, shooting, kind of neutral, maybe a minus. All right, overall, pretty fun game of pig. Had fun playing against my boy John's plan. We have one last station left, and I think that will hopefully either confirm or deny our thoughts on the stick handling. We're heading over there. They have a couple super deekers set up, so we're gonna go head to head and see if we're better with the old stick or the new stick. All right, so we've came over to the super deeker section. If you guys have not seen the super deeker, essentially these lights are gonna flash up. You have to stick handle over the lights. You can bounce it off the bands to get to the lights, whatever way possible. My previous high score is 61. But we're gonna do one with each stick, one test only. Whatever happens, happens. So John, okay, to be 100% honest, his hands are not the best. He also has never used this thing, so uh, just, just don't judge, all right? 45 seconds, once you hit the first light, it starts in three, two, one, go. Okay. <laughs> Unreal. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Go. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> one more try, one more try. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> oh gosh, he missed the light. Okay. Here we go. Soft hands, smooth. Like you're cradling an egg. He's at 10. 22 seconds left. Keep on rolling. All right, yo, let's go. Oh my. Keep trucking. Last one, get it. 
a score of 22 with the old twig. That was John's first ever attempt at the Super Deaker. 22, I'm gonna go ahead and get out my reg twig and we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna try to limit myself to only one. Okay, no mess ups. I don't care if the puck flies off. We're gonna get this clean. Here we go. Final score of 45. Not quite where I used to be. My old high score is 61, but I kid you not, that was after like hours and hours of attempting this thing. So 45, first try is not too shabby. Now we'll move on to the elevate six and see if we can improve our scores. Expecting a score increase of at least 10. So 32. 10? 32 is the goal. We're off. There you go. The goal is 32. Anything less than 32 is just an absolute failure. Oh my gosh. 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 Oh no. gosh. Oh no. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh, his score, 23 was the final, so <laughs> he did beat it. You did get 23 and you had like 8 seconds left. So you were on your way to 30, using the elevate. <laughs> he did lose the fuck and he still came. <laughs> Good after third, John. God, that is, that is bad, that is bad. <laughs> Goal is to beat 45. 45 and 45 seconds, one a second. I think we can do that pretty easy. I swear I was on pace to get like 55. I had like maybe 15 seconds left and I was sitting at like 35, 36. All right guys, well that will do it for our on ice review of the Elevate Stick. Is it the stick of the future? I'm gonna say not quite, okay? It's still a solid twig, definitely fun to use. If you can get your hands on one, I would definitely give it a shot. Maybe it is for you. I mean, John seemed to enjoy using it, I did too. Uh, maybe after we get out here some more, I'll get used to the twig, maybe give it a second shot, and uh, see what happens. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit the video with a like. Also, subscribe if you haven't, and if you wanna see more videos like this one, give us ideas, put them in the comment section down below. We're always reading the comments. And with that, I'm out. We'll see you guys next time, and peace. One last crossbow.